Howdy, 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 my darling Leo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today, Leo, we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading for the 1st of August. So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, let me know in the comments below, Leo, how my tarot readings help you out, all right? That's, I always like to hear from y'all, as well as if you want a free way to support this tarot reading channel, Leo, today, just give this video a like and subscribe. It helps me out more than you ever possibly could know, and I really appreciate the individuals that do that extra step, because I know you don't have to, all right? So when it comes to consuming your tarot readings today, Leo, make sure you're consuming more than just your one zodiac sign consume your sun moon rising as well as your venus to get the full understanding of what's happening in your life now today in your for three rows leo we're going to be tapping into your career your personal just per, uh, physical pursuits in your first row this could be talking about a project or just whatever it is that you've been uh, uh pining for your second row we're going to be talking uh leo about your social life this could be a platonic relationship we're tapping into romantic family and ex darling all right so and then in your third row which is my personal favorite leo we're going to be getting into your spiritual messages darling all right this is where we get into the predictions and all that good stuff all right leo so let's get right into this tarot reading here today starting out with the knight of swords in the back of the deck for you all right leo so very fast forward progression here unexpected events is the definition of this knight of swords here so this week you could be having some unexpected opportunities coming in here and it may come in and, and the opportunities may come in or the unexpectedness comes in as a sense of people all right you um some of you guys i am being shown like that dramatic if you've watched soap operas at all i don't know if they're even still a thing anymore but back in the day with soap operas i used to watch like general hospital one like to live and all my children and there'd always be like that dramatic before the episode ends where it's just like you hear a knock on the door it's like who's at the door and it's like the evil stepsister that no one ever knew you know whatever whatever right and that's what i feel like is happening for you but not in like a negative sense it's more so a sense of where like you just are not anticipating this happening for you all right and this is going to be blessing all three of your rows this week here uh leo so just right now in regards to your physical pursuits definitely fast forward momentum is going to be happening in that way a lot of uh, moving events the resting period is over socially for you here mm, we'll get into that all right <laughs> so let's get right into your reading here leo let's start out with your physical pursuits with the ten of wands temperance energy leo with that four of swords coming in here very interesting that you got this temperance energy just like aries actually in the same position here so if you do have aries in your chart be sure to check it out because but your energy is very different to leo compared to aries aries is dealing with a block here that they need to handle for you leo i feel like you're just coming over over a block here all right with that four of swords that really lets me know aries that for you you've been in this resting period all right um and i believe it's your season right now leo so happy birthday darlings um you have been in this resting period you have been planning something i feel you've been working um doing a lot of things behind the scenes for you leo i wouldn't wouldn't really even be surprised if like people have started perceiving you as like being lazy or just having not having a clear understanding of what it is that you're doing what it is that you're up to because i feel like you just are you are working on a lot here right with this ten of wands and this temperance energy you're working on a lot right this ten of wands represents many projects that you're dabbling into and tens representing closures to cycles so you're about to be completing a harvest right think about this ten of wands is where it's like you've been carrying all these wands and you're just about to uh, hit the home base right here right so that's you know you can read the ten of wands in a multitude of ways here and i see what's been happening for you because you've been taking the rest the period of just like rest being very much so to yourself uh here leo i get the strong sense of where you've been patient and like you're about to be receiving some very beautiful harvests here because again you consider this knight of uh, swords coming in here very fast forward movement here and it's going to be helping you get to the finish line here all right so i really do see you guys leo not being in this waiting period for too much longer all right you've been having the resting period and now you're going to be rising like a phoenix styling essentially here to be corny all right getting into your social pursuits here you have the Ten of Pentacles, the Empress, Empress, as well as the Four of Wands coming in for you, Leo. What I want to be letting y'all know at this point in time, Leo, is that I feel like i feel like you're going to be having someone uh, try to come into your life here, Leo. I get for some of you guys, it's been like a pattern. All right, there's maybe there's someone that like you haven't been able to avoid or it's like every single time that you try to move on or just what have you. It's always been like that sense area, uh, Leo, I apologize 
it's always been like the sense for you leo where it's like there's a certain connection that you just can't seemingly get out of all right and i don't feel like it's necessarily a bad thing for you i feel like there's either for you leo your path is just going to your path is really just destined to have certain accomplishments with people here all right and so what i want to be saying for some of you leos is that what's going to be happening for you is that someone's going to be coming like knocking on the door for you leo and then you're going to take that sign as a leo <laughs> that sign leo um and then be like oh crap velka spoke about this darling with this knight of swords here some big mo uh, momentous things are going to be happening the reason why initially leo i was just like oh we'll unpack this later with this knight of swords is because i get this sense for you leo of where it's just like you're dealing with a lot of situations a lot of people in your life that are that are there for you for very specific things you might have a person in your life leo that is just there just to push you right you might have people in like there's just certain people that are brought to your path for very specific purposes leo and for some of those people those people are just like pushing you leo so you take a stand for yourself so you speak your truth more but for others of you leos i get like the strong sense of where it's just like there's someone from your past wanting to come in here to provide some stability to you to make an offering to you all right you know you're sitting here in this throne this is your I mean, it's not your energy leo but it is the middle of your spread here the heart of your spread so you are that empress energy and you're just sitting there as the empress just waiting to see what who's coming forward to you stepping forward to you and seeing what they have to offer to you right the empress is someone that um people have to earn the respect of the empress the empress is fully aware about the power she holds the beauty that she the, is obviously genders don't matter but we're talking about the empress here i mean the end of the archetype itself she's a woman right but just the same like a uh, king a king of swords could be a female or a woman or non-binary darling you get the point I've ha i feel like i always have to like walk on eggshells with it because something you know, especially so there's certain like <laughs> masculine individuals that get real triggered by me saying darling you know sometimes because they just immediately think that's one way or whatever anyways here leo getting back to this reading because those people are, are irrelevant here i just feel as if for you relationships are going to be playing a pretty impactful role for you i don't know why i was just shown like the batman and joker i don't like superhero movies like whatsoever leo like it just is not me you know so you don't <laughs> don't yell at me but i'm i say this because it's like for me to be shown this batman and joker scenario when i'm not into it at all it shows me it lets me know that there's some type of significance leo so it's like from what little i know i feel as if like batman would have like an identity crisis if the joker just didn't exist right because that's batman's entire identity is like oh i gotta catch the joker or whatever whatever that could just be me very poorly summarizing the storyline but i feel as if there's certain there's a certain somebody leo that's giving you purpose that's going to be a fuel for your fire to motivate you to do like to for further elevation it's like what they have to offer you know solidifies things for you and so i don't feel like it's going to be necessarily the embodiment of like a literal you know just like dropping cash in front of you leo right and be like oh hey like you got some bills to pay that's not i mean that just really is not it'll be nice but it's just not the reality leo right what I feel like is happening for you is that there's someone's going to be brought forward to your life again that you may or may not be happy to see. All right. I'm not here to tell you how you will feel about how that person is. And you don't even know who it will be. Right. Because I feel like some of you Leo. So like sometimes when I say I feel like someone's coming back in, like everyone always immediately thinks it's like, oh, it's an ex. Is that ex narcissist? When it's like, girl, I never even said that, you know? <laughs> um but someone's coming in here and it's like through that connection with them whether it's through what they provide maybe some insight maybe they help you get through the door with something maybe it's just the fact of like them coming back into your life you may not like them but they have a friend that they bring along to the party and you're just like you know what i like your friend a lot what's their name and then it's from that connection with that friend that starts something beautiful here because that four of wands for you leo all right there is definitely someone that you share in the happiness with you celebrate with like you do there is you, that's why i was like a little bit resistant initially leo to talk about it because it's like people immediately i feel like their eyes glaze over and they take it in such a superficial way when i talk about oh when tarot readers in general talk about people coming in from the past because you'll it just it, yeah so let's just move on here leo i feel like the people that understand will understand though chariot ace of swords with the seven of pentacles coming in for you 
all right fast forward momentum is going to be happening for you but what i want to be letting you know leo is that don't be afraid of getting some extra farmhand help all right yes you can have like you can have a thriving garden you can have a thriving farm on your own but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't ask for help all right because people helping you on your farm is just going to further give you a more bountiful harvest all right i feel like at this time for you leo you need to you know here's the thing leo all right and i'm very like this is a message i could even say for myself even and even though i don't have any leo in my chart right i'm very much so i try very hard to i pride myself really on not being perceived as fake like i'm very much so like if i don't if i don't vibe with you darling if i can't have a conversation with you i'm not even going to pretend like i vibe with you i'm just not going to put any like you know i'm just not going to talk but i feel like for you leo it's like you acknowledge someone for what they are sure they may be you know whatever it is because i don't feel like you don't have anything inherently negative here like there's no like perceived negative card here leo i just feel like there's someone from your past that you might be just dismissive towards because you're just like eh, i don't have the time or the energy just to deal with you and every all the baggage that you come with right that's what i feel like a lot of you leos will initially receive this energy as and it's like give it a little bit more chance delve in a little bit deeper with this connection here leo and you're going to be so happy that you did because it's like it may the real you know that person may just be completely irrelevant and they're just the bridge that like, br uh, bridges the gap between you and the next person you know their best friend that ends up being your best friend or the person you marry right because the four of wands is a card of marriage right so that's why i just have been stressing out so much leo about trying to find the words for this because it's like i i feel like the biggest thing that you could be doing to disservice yourself here is by being a little bit closed off like you know just ignoring it and just assuming that you know how it's going to be because i do feel like it's going to be like a plot twist like you don't know you like again that's why i keep on like emphasizing leo which is like don't be dismissive of this like you know it's not don't just treat this reading as like more white noise here right watchers trans trans personal trans trans personal why can't i speak right now watchers okay leo for you right now you are getting really close to the tip of a mountain all right and this is like personal accomplishment all right you're getting close to the tip of a mountain here and what i want to be telling you guys is like just like the tip of a mountain it shares the same storyline as the fool where the fool is about to be taking that leap of faith you guys are really close right now leo to really um having such a transformative experience here because i don't know what i again like i'm getting all these impressions leo and as a tarot reader like sometimes it just makes no sense whatsoever and like you know so like it's, but you have to just say it anyways so like what i'm getting right now is just like i feel like i'm being shown like someone that just reached like the top of like a big hike or something like in mount everest or something and i'm being shown like this person like sobbing right now right i'm having to like hold myself back because it's like i'm feeling like such a surreal experience with this uh it's like a full body experience with this message here but i really feel as if like that's what's going to be happening it's like you get to the top of that mountain that a accomplishment and then it's just like such a transforming personal experience for you here and that's what's going to be happening here in the coming days it's like this sense of satisfaction it's like you've been carrying all these burdens for such a long time you're so close to the home stretch once you get to the home stretch it's like this sense of release is what i feel for you leo we have been so all, all over the place with your reading here leo but it's like this has been low-key one of my favorites because of just like how channeled this reading has been all right you have the deep quiet meditation and stillness at this time again leo you guys i feel you know this is like a cliche where it's just like you'll hear some tarot readers be like oh awakening enlightenment da, darling da, 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 da. all right i just feel like this is going to be a week of where it's like some personal um evolution happening for you all right maybe for some of you guys you broke some type of generational curse like there's something like impactful that no one else besides you are going to be experiencing and knowing that you're going through that experience and it's amazing for you i can't wait like i don't know it's really interesting to see like i don't know what it's so interesting um i can't wait to hear leo 
about where this like hones in on because it's like some type of personal accomplishment that really just is just it just hits deep all right as i said unmarked trail revelation here something is about to be getting clarity here all right it's not something you see it's something unmarked uh here leo all right and so that's what i really want to be saying is like this is like you think that you know what's going on you think you know what's manifesting for you what's building up for you you think you know what's going to be what's behind door number one you think you know that right but the actual reality is you don't because it's something so much greater all right i get really this is a sense for you leo that is like you're starting out to august in such a powerful way of just this new sense of awareness all right like this is this is beautiful this is truly beautiful so i'm going to wrap up this tarot reading now leo thank you so much for allowing me to do this tarot reading for you if you enjoyed it let me know in the comments below give this video a like and subscribe leo all right and check out your other zodiac signs that i have listed all right, Leo. If you want to book a reading with me, my website's linked down below, simplyvelka.com. Next to my uh, social medias, TikTok and Instagram, both being Simply Velka. Same as here. Until next time, though, Leo, thank you so much for allowing me the opportunity to read your cards. I don't take it for granted, and I hope I can connect with you sometime in the near future, darling. Bye, Leo.